So behind the sale today with Kevin Gazzatua, one of our top producers, if not the top producer at JAG. All right, I'm well, flattered. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Kevin, thank you for coming on. Sure, pleasure. Kevin, one of the things that I love about you is, and, and I think this is something that uh, producers really um, could, could learn from and, and get better with is, is your discipline. Uh, your ability to, uh, to become hyper-focused on, on whatever it is that you're, you're looking to execute and your ability to also explain uh, coverage and, and really who you are and, and, and about the product. W where does that come from? I think, uh, I, I think that really comes from my first job in insurance when I was an underwriter, broker uh, for three and a half years. I was a lot younger in that role. I started that around, I was 22 years old when I started knocking on agencies' doors trying to get their business. So uh, as the principal of an agency, you see a 22-year-old knock on your door, hey, I'm an underwriter, do you trust me with your accounts? I mean, that's probably going to be a, a pretty tough sell to you when you already are working with other veteran underwriters that have been in the industry forever. And what could a 22-year-old possibly know about underwriting complex commercial deals? Yeah. So I really had to make sure that every word that came out of my mouth when I spoke to an agent, I knew what it meant and I could back it up with facts. And I learned that I needed to do that out of meetings that I had with agents that didn't necessarily go well, where I would maybe I would present a quote where I would say something and I would get pressed on something I didn't expect to get pressed on and I wouldn't have an answer. Yeah. So I learned that, you know, everything I say, I have to understand. So I, I think I, I learned how to really put an emphasis in becoming comfortable with what I'm presenting, knowing what I'm talking about, and really understanding what it is that I'm doing and knowing how to communicate it because if I couldn't do that, I wouldn't last five minutes in any of those meetings I was taking with agencies. Yeah, and, and I think, and this, you know, I think we're, I, at one point I was a very young producer and I think we all fight the age battle, right? You walk yeah. in, you're 22 years old and you're, you're meeting with some 50-year-old established businessman and I think that it's only natural uh, that sometimes you have to earn your earn their trust and 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 for for a businessman of that age to be a little bit more um, I don't want to use the word harder on you, but yeah, kind of kind of kind of making you earn yours, right? Yeah, if that makes any sense at all. Uh, but I, th I also think I also think that. That business owner is, you know, if he understands business, you know, he finds it admirable that a 22 year old is knocking on his or her door and asking for business and asking for the opportunity. Um, so I think we all fight that. But, you know, I've always said that I'm a big believer in knowledge. Personality opens the door, but knowledge closes the deal. I don't care how personable you are. People want to deal with people that understand what they're doing. Yeah. And when you're dealing with insurance and very complex language and the transfer of risk, organizations want to know that, hey, you know, my assets are protected. They're with the right person. They have the right claims team and all that other good stuff that happens with insurance. Um, but you also do something that's very, very, uh, I, I, I use the word special. And, and I think it's something that we have here at JAG. And it's a word that we don't use very loosely. And we take a lot of pride in. And that's the word transparency. Uh, I love your approach and how transparent you are. Uh, you're not afraid to ask questions. You're not afraid to say, look, I don't, ha I don't know the answer right now, but let me get right back to you. Versus your typical salesman, right, who's just telling you what you want to hear versus giving you the facts or being knowledgeable about the product that he or she is selling you. Uh, and, I, and I think that that's such a value add to you and your success, and it's why you're so young and you're experiencing such tremendous success at a young age. Um, is, it's the fact that you're transparent along with your discipline. And I think when you collaborate those both those things, you, you, you have a solid producer. And, you know, we call this the... the, the uh, behind the sale. The behind the sale, right? You know, I don't think I'm ever selling anything. I don't think you're ever selling anything. I don't, I don't, I don't even like... I, I don't like selling. I like to educate people. I like to inform people. And I like... I like People want to do business with people they trust, right? The, the minute you try to sell somebody something, they can, I mean, they can smell that. Yeah. You know, you're chasing a commission or you're chasing some sort of, you know, it's, a, like, it's, it's almost like a one-sided contract. 
And I think what we do is, and, and, and I've seen you do, and this is where I'm, I, I, again, I, I, I'm so proud of you, is you identify problems, but you bring a solution. And, and, and if you call that selling, then I guess we're selling. But there is, you know, people need insurance, and, and, and you, you find them the solution for what their risk is. And, and is there anything specific that you're always looking for in, 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 uh, when dealing uh, with a certain client? Is it, is it, you know, I know that, is it body language? Is it, is it what? I, I think, um, I think what I really focus on, and, and it's interesting too, because you, you made a point when it comes to trust and, and transparency, is because a lot of the people we work with, they don't really know if what we're telling them is true or not. I could say that this means that and this means this, and I could technically be wrong here or right there. It wouldn't make any difference to any of these people because people don't generally know insurance when they're buying insurance. So what I learned is like the bit, the technical approach I used in my past life became less important when I became an agent. It became important, but now it became less about knowing everything and people trusting your capability to get the answers they need. Yeah. So if someone comes to me and like, hey, I don't understand this, I'm very comfortable saying, hey, look, I don't know, let me find out. I know who to call and I have a relationship with that person because I've built the groundwork that is more valuable to my clients. So I think the thing I look for in a client really, as I build my book here, I really want to build my book the right way just because I never want to work anywhere else. Honestly, like I see this as my last job. Yeah. And as I build my book, I want to build it with clients that one are, are going to respect me and my team that are going to stay and they're going to treat us as a firm, as a partner. And the one thing that turns me off on a client is if I'm only seen as another bid. Yeah. If someone's not even willing to entertain the thought that we can be a resource, that we can provide other value, and that we can be a partner, I mean, I might still take my shot and try to get them to come on board over time, but that's not my ideal client. My ideal client is someone that is looking for the value that we can give. Correct. Because we can give that value. When we talk about the risk management team we have, the service team we've built up, the resources that we're developing constantly, I believe that we provide more value than almost anybody out there. And I saw it when I worked for our uh, for my, my prior uh, career. It was just that so many agents are just focused on the deal. Hey, just give me 100 bucks off. Hey, if you get $50 off this price, I'll bind it. And I remember thinking, man, is $50 really what's stopping you from making this sale? You have no relationship. That's crazy to me. You know, it, well, you, you, it, it says a lot that you have no relationship. Uh, you have no confidence in yourself. And you're not playing the long game. Yeah. And, and I, 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 I feel successful when my clients trust that, you know, they don't, they don't feel like they need to shop us. And they come to our firm for other stuff. Mm -hmm. Say, hey, do you know someone in this field? Do you know someone in that field? And that shows that they really trust us. And that's my sign that like we're building a real relationship and I'm doing my job well.